Hey everyone, welcome back and today we are going to learn about easy conversation starters that always work. Now let's get right into it. Most people don't like small talk. When meeting someone for the first time, it probably feels awkward. You don't know what to say. But small talk is unavoidable. You need it to socialize. Unfortunately, the first thing you say will atone for the entire conversation. So, how do you make sure your small talk doesn't ruin your impressions? The key is picking the right topics and the right things to say or to talk about. Here are seven easy conversation starters that works all the time. One, you can initiate a conversation by asking the question, what do you think? The simplest question makes the best conversation starters. This trick is really simple. Let's think of this scenario. After listening to a speaker at a seminar or say after a lecture, and imagine you are sitting in the audience and notice someone sitting quietly beside you. So you decide to engage in a conversation. But you don't know what to say. You could say, I think the speaker was great. What did you think? In one sentence, you introduce something to talk about and atone for the entire conversation. So whoever you're talking to, they will feel comfortable talking back. 2. Hobbies Instead of asking what they do for a living, spice up your conversation by asking what their hobbies are, what they do for fun. You notice that people look alive when they talk about their hobbies. Unlike our jobs, our hobbies are more private. Many people know your job, but how many know your hobbies? Many people hide their hobbies because they are afraid of what others might think. By asking about their hobbies, you're showing that you support and they will feel secure knowing you genuinely want to know. On top of that, you develop a strong relationship and a potential friend. 3. Lead with a simple favor. Let's say you spot a stranger on the road and you want to start a conversation. So what should you do? You can shake their hands and introduce yourself, but that doesn't feel right. So what you need is an excuse to justify a conversation and a small favor can do the trick. Just walk up and ask something quick and easy. Say to ask time or take a picture of you. These take a few seconds that can completely change the dynamic of their relationship. A small favor create a bond. Once you've gone out of your way to help someone, you've invested in them and you care about what they think. But why is it that we like people more after doing favors for them. But the truth is, we like people more because we did something for them. Thanks to a psychological phenomenon, we want our thoughts and actions to line up. Your brain wants your mind to match with your body. So when you do someone a favor, your brain makes another lens. So you tell yourself, you assume it's because you like them, even for doing something small for them. 4. Travel Sometimes you have to create conversation out of thin air. You know nothing about each other, so what do you say? Travel is a subject everyone likes to talk about, because it's interesting to talk about cultures and lifestyles that's different from your own. If you went to a trip or vacation, talk about something funny you saw. Talk about your favorite part of the trip. Even if you've never gone anywhere exciting, you can still ask them about the best trip they've ever taken. Or, if they can go anywhere in this world, where would it be? Everyone likes to fantasize about 
far away destinations. So this topic would make small talks fun for both of you. Don't be afraid to ask questions and take this in a new direction when it feels natural. Five, food. Food is something we think about every day, and everybody enjoys talking about. You can use food as a topic to keep a conversation rolling. That you can't just tell them what you had for breakfast. You have to incorporate into the story. For example, talk about how you discovered the best food you've ever taken, or you can ask them about theirs. A great story is all you need to start a conversation. Six. Lead with a compliment. If you want to start a conversation and make a friend while at it, try leading with a compliment. Compliment something about them because it instantly changes the mood. People feel warmer and confident after receiving a compliment because it makes them feel recognized and appreciated. But make sure you mean it and it is genuine. Don't force it because it will feel shallow. This honest compliment makes it more awkward. They think you're trying to manipulate them. So take your time to analyze something you admire about them. And there you go. 7. Ask about the past. If you're looking to make new friends or start a conversation, asking about where they grew up or their childhood is almost a subject everyone feels comfortable with because that is just about reminiscing about the good old days and there's no risk to it and it opens all kinds of opportunities for you but don't cross the line and make it awkward don't interrogate someone about their parents don't ask why they moved away Asking these personal questions right away make people feel uncomfortable. So just keep it general and fun to keep the conversation going. These points make a great conversation starter. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified anytime. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.